Hi everybody, 860 Cologne here with another video. This time I have a little guest with me. This is Britt. She was in the show that I just did here in Boston and we always enjoy comparing each other's fragrances. So I figured I'd give her a few samples and see what she thought of them. The main one we're going to do today is going to be Enchanted Forest. And she's going to tell us all about it right now. Hi. Enchanted Forest is inspired by the endless sea of Russian forests and fairy tales, as well as the most sensual ancient Slavic celebration named Kupala, rooted in the times of darkness when all the earth knew its soul and its name. <laughs> uh, French perfumer Bertrand Duchafour, very good. the famous creator of fragrances for L'Artisan Parfumeur, Comme des Garçons, and Penhaligans built enchanted forests around black currant, the smell and taste of which are so beloved in Russia and many other countries where it grows. The top has pink pepper, aldehydes, sweet orange traces, flower cassis, black currant leaf, hawthorn, and effects of rum and wine, rosemary, and divana. The heart has black currant buds absolute, CO2 black currant, Russian coriander seed, honeysuckle, rose, carnation, and vetiver. And on the base is a pompanax, resinoid, cyan benzoin, amber, oak moss, fir balsam absolute, patchouli pur coeur, pure heart, not sure how you say that exactly, castoreum absolute, cedar notes, vanilla musk, and it was launched in 2012. Now, I already kind of know this, but tell them what you thought of this fragrance. I loved it. <laughs> it was so musty and oh, manly, but also fruity. I don't know. I, it had everything. And I, mm, Russian forest, I guess. Yeah, it really. <laughs> I got this decant off of the fragrance rose when I was doing a show in uh, South Carolina, and there was a Russian in the cast. And he's like, it reminds me of my grandmother's backyard. So it really, I've heard that before on some of the reviews where they say, you know, this really does remind me of like, you know, being back home in Russia. But it's, when I first heard the name, I thought it was going to be more like the original Polo Green, which is this very mm -hmm. piney, you know, mm -hmm. of yeah, course. Yeah, we just smelled it. <laughs> and so I was expecting Enchanted Forest to be kind of like that piney, really hard uh, foresty, but it's not. It's kind of like this lush, green, moist yeah, forest. Yeah, it reminds you of the bottom of the forest. Yeah. yeah. It's the forest floor. <laughs> yeah. And, but it's so fresh. It's like the sun can get in, but the fragrance stays around you, like, you know, in the forest. I, I have a picture that I'm going to put up that I think perfectly represents what this, floor, this uh, fragrance means it's to like me. Like you've walked into a clearing. Yeah. In a dark forest. But it's mossy. Mm -hmm. It has that, that black currant. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That black currant really mm -hmm. has that nice sweetness to it, which keeps it out of the um, too harsh tone of like the original Polo mm -hmm. or any of those like power fragrances from the 80s. Now you wore this as well because I gave you mm -hmm. the, the sample. Yes. And did you have any compliments on it? I wish I could smell it again right now, but it was very, um, hmm. I like, as, as Jason knows, I like the, this a little bit more on the masculine side, but not totally. I mean, it fits my personality. I'm, it's, it's forceful, but also fresh. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that was my main, my main takeaway was that I, I smelled it and it, it did have a, a strong authoritative smell to it, but also soft undertone. Mm -hmm. Describes her perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it, I get good longevity out of this one. Like I, I can smell mm -hmm. it on me uh, after a while, and I let people like try things on after shows, and we go out to smell on them hours later. Mm -hmm. And it was a really, really pleasant surprise to me. So I really like this one a lot. Out of five stars, what would you give this one? Oh, at least a four. Okay, yeah, I, I think I give it a four too. Mm -hmm. Um, really, could you see yourself wearing this year round? Hmm. It actually, to me, wasn't as much of a summer fragrance as I would like it oh, to be. Okay. I, for summer, especially because we're in Boston and nobody has air conditioning, you <laughs> want something that's a little bit fresher and cleaner smelling. Yeah. Um, but this is a great fall and winter smell. Yeah. Yes. For me, I like a stronger fragrance 
year round. Mm -hmm. This was a great spring and fall fragrance, and also winter. Uh, you're right, su summer might be a little bit, a little bit too much, mm -hmm. some, somewhat, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I like it year round. Have, haven't had a chance to wear it in the winter yet, but I think it's crisp enough mm -hmm. that I think it will cut through very nicely. Oh yeah, especially, especially in a big, tall, handsome man, I think. Yes. <laughs> so, so final verdict on this one is really great. I'm getting my second decant of it. The bottles are kind of expensive. I'll put the prices of the actual retail price. The bottles are beautiful. This was a surprise to me. It was a blind decant buy, and I heard a lot of good things about it, and Fragrance Bros did not let me down at all. So I'm getting some more of this juice, and hopefully it'll last me a long time because it's a definite winner. Oh, yeah, for me too in my book. What age range do you think, like from like high school kids up to like grandfathers? What, what do you think? It I would at? say it's an older age range. I'm an old soul. I yeah. like to think of myself just because I'm from Florida, aka mm -hmm. God's waiting room, <laughs> and I tend to err on the side of more um, mature smells. I think at least I'm not a big fruity. You, you know, I'm yeah, not a fruity, yeah. sweet kind of smell, smelling gal. But I think, well, I mean, she well, I smell very sweet. <laughs> but I would say, I would say. If I could put some arbitrary number on the, I, I would say late 30s at least. To me, yeah. it's a more mature smell, which is what I go for. Yeah. yeah. And, and I think, you know, it's all dependent on who, your personality, but not sure about high school. I would say a really established mm -hmm. college guy, maybe going to one of the Ivy League schools here in Boston. As long as he already has some hair on his chest. <laughs> yeah. Or if he doesn't, this will put some on there. <laughs> But this is a definite winner. I usually don't give ratings, but I give this about a four out of five as well. Agreed. I really, really like it. So there you have it. This is Britt joining me for this little fragrance review of Enchanted Forest. Thanks a lot. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Jason. <laughs>